Hello, it's Sunday, the 11th of July, 2021, and I'm traveling through Germany for the Tim Travelers International Staycation Challenge. And by Germany, I mean Berlin, Ontario. And by Berlin, I mean Kitchener, which was known as Berlin up until World War I. For my first stop, I'm visiting the Oktoberfest Pavilion. The bells in the center of the pavilion have been part of the local Oktoberfest celebrations since the 1980s. Next, I'm visiting this magnificent palace. The sign helpfully explains that it was built by Kaiser uh, Mutual Life Insurance Company in 1712, sorry, 1912. Now, I'm moving further south. This plinth once held a bust of Kaiser Wilhelm I. It was erected in 1897 to commemorate the Peace of Frankfurt. Unfortunately, the bust was looted by Canadian troops during World War I. Initially, they threw the bust into the nearby lake. When it was reinstalled a few days later, it was stolen again and whisked away to London. Its exact fate is unknown, but it's believed that it was melted down to help the war effort. Of course, I must reiterate once again that I'm talking about Berlin, Ontario, and London, Ontario. If you'd like more details about this story, links are in the description. And finally, to round things out, here are some other German-looking structures in town. And of course, what's more German than an efficient public transportation system passing by the local Oktoberfest castle? If you'd like to visit Berlin, Ontario, now known as Kitchener, Ontario, when travel is legal again, I'd recommend coming during Oktoberfest. The local Oktoberfest is the second largest in the world, after Munich, with 700,000 annual visitors. Other attractions include the Kitchener's Farmer's Market, the Medi Public Ice Rinks, during the winter only, and, in nearby towns, the St. Jacob's Farmer's Market and the Elmira Maple Syrup Festival. All of these can be visited by wheelchair accessible public transit or by bicycle. I visited all the locations seen here by bicycle using either dedicated bike paths or quiet residential streets. My name is Alan, and thank you very much for watching.